Okay, so we have the word problem here, and where we left off, um, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to make X be the U.S. and Y be Mexico. And so what that means is, since it's 16 cents per calls to Mexico, or for calls to the U.S., sorry, it's 16 cents for calls to the U.S., that's why it's 0.16x. It's 44 cents a minute for calls to Mexico, so that's why I have 0.44y. That's the total, basically, is what we're talking about here. So to find the total, I know that um, it costs a prepaid phone card worth $50. So I know the total is 50 Um can they spend more than 50 bucks? Well, if it's a prepaid phone card, no. So the max they can spend is 50, but they could spend less than that and have some left over. So this is the actual equation we come up with. 0.16x plus 0.44y is less than or equal to 50. So to solve this, I have to um, rewrite this. Uh, so the easiest way to do this, I think, would be to do the x and y intercept, which is why I started by plugging a, a zero in here. Because if I plug in a zero, then all I have to do is solve this little equation, which means I divide both sides by 0.44, and I get 113.63. So that first point I have to plot is zero, 113.63. Um, next up, if I plug in a zero for uh, y, I have 0.16x, so I can divide both sides by 0.16, and I end up getting 312.5, so that means I have 312.50. These are my two points that I can now graph. So what that means is I need to go over 312.5, and I need to go up 113.63. So I have, uh, I'm just going to say that that's 113.63, because um, otherwise I would have to tell you the exact amount and I have no idea what I'm going up by and that's 312.5 we'll just say I um, and I connect them and I connect them with a solid line because this right here is less than or equal to so I pick a point not in that line which is 0 0 so here it is and I plug in a 0 0 when I plug it in right when I plug a 0 0 in I get 0 is less than 50 and that is true Notice how I stopped right here. I didn't keep shading all this in because those are going to give you negative answers. It has to be inside this triangle here. That's the kind of stuff we're going to get to in linear programming in three, uh, chapter 3 in the next chapter. But I have to stop here because um, if I go any farther, those are going to be negative. So I'm actually only shading in that little mini triangle there is all that I'm actually doing for the problem. So here is your homework. So here's your homework. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to uh, contact me, give me an email. Uh, but with a lot of the examples that I have online, I think you guys should be set and uh, good to go with this. So uh, thanks for listening, and we will talk with you later.